Hello YouTube. Um, so the Galaxy Note 20 is finally out and um, I just thought I'll take the time to go through with you guys um, what you might want to consider while getting your new phone, uh, whether you're considering to upgrade or you're just thinking, uh, hang on, what does this all mean and what where do I stand? So I'll tell you what I've done. I've already ordered my um, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Um, and I will take you through some of the reasons why I did that. Um, and I'll tell you which phones I currently use. What you see in front of you, this is a Galaxy Note 10. So not the 10 Plus, but the, the regular 10. Um, I also have here, oh, I also have this um, Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now you're going to have to kind of keep the names properly here because we talk, we're talking about Note 20 Ultra, S20 Ultra, so you have to keep uh, keep with it to kind of know what we're saying here. So this is the one that was released, the S20 line, S20 Ultra. You remember the one with the space zoom? And this is the Note 10, the little uh, of the notes. Um, so I used, I, I normally use a Note. That's that's kind of my uh, my go-to phone so the last note i had would have been a note 9 um and i always buy the bigger phone but this time round i thought you know i haven't used a small phone for a long time uh in terms of the these samsung notes uh could i get the 10 note 10 in the smaller version and that's what i've done and i'll be able to give you some of the uh some of the things i've come across using a smaller phone the first thing you realize is just the size so the weight of this is probably about 30 grams, 3.0, lighter than the new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and perhaps is close to 30 grams lighter than this one as well. And as you put them next to each other and do this, you can tell this is more practical. This is the, you know, I don't really like small displays, but for those people that don't really care much about how big a display is, they just want the convenient um, way of going about their day, I think... This is the way to go uh, uh, for that reason. But as I've said, I've ordered the Note 20 Ultra, which is a 6.9 inch display, which is the same. Uh, I think I believe this is the same as this one on the S20 Ultra. This is a 6.3. Uh, uh, but as you can see, not really uh, much of a difference there. If you look at the top there, you can actually see that it's not really much of a of a difference. Um, and if we do it that way, again, you can kind of see that you're not losing much, but um, the problem is that the, the weight is there because the battery is bigger. So I suppose we need to actually go to the battery uh, next. So although I loved using this note, um, I'll talk about some of the things I didn't like, but although I liked using this, one of the things I didn't like was the battery. It's actually uh, a 3,500 milliamp um, our battery which is quite small and I thought you know oh maybe because the display on this because the display on this is uh, uh, less quality than the one on the Note 10 Plus I thought oh yeah you know the battery will do will do some justice there but I'm struggling to get through a day on one charge on this uh, Note 10 the regular one so 3500 I can certainly say even with a, a lighter display like this one is not going to be enough uh, and it's funny how these days we actually look at a 6.3 inch screen and think it's a small screen. But for me, because I've always used the bigger bigger screen, I think um, this is this is quite small. One of the things I wanted to talk about. So if you're considering, OK, um, should I upgrade? Uh, you need to listen to the rest of the conversation. But people always start with the price. People always like to go with price and know how much um, they can get for the for their phone, the old phone or how much they could get for a new one and what bargains they could get. I'll tell you what I've done. Um, so I've ordered the uh, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which the cost of that was uh, £1,179. But I'll only be paying £779, uh, which is what I've already paid. Um, the, the reason is because the note that I'm holding here, Samsung are sort of saying, if you've got an old device that you want to uh, part exchange, we'll take it. So they've offered me £400 for this one. And I thought, OK, I'll take it. So this is not, not actually my phone anymore. In two weeks time, when I receive my one, uh, my new phone, I need to send this to Samsung 
400 pounds they've taken off the price of the phone because of that so that might be something you want to think about you want to trade in um, but you also want to know what it is you're getting with a new phone and we're going to talk about some of the specs in a minute um, but yeah so that's what i'm doing i'm i'm handing this one back to samsung and i'm receiving my new one 400 pounds off the other thing i've done is i've ordered the um the uh, galaxy watch 3 i went for the bigger 43 millimeter which is also 4g and just by ordering that i also will be getting the galaxy buds live which have got a price of 179 pounds i'll be getting those free with with the uh, uh, with the phone so you see there's a couple of things actually you get free for ordering the phone i also got the i think it's called the dual charger you know the, the the wireless charger with the two places where you can place a phone and a watch on the same charger 89 pounds worth i'm getting that free as well just for ordering the phone so there's some packs and i always um get uh this kind of thing from samsung every time i order something they give us uh, some free packs with it um so that's good um now let's move on to ram so the other thing i see is that with this is only uh, 8 gigs of RAM, and I say only, I think, you know, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, especially on an iPhone, would be a big thing. But we are sort of used to 12 gigs of RAM, and I think some of the newer devices, high-end Samsung, 16 gigs of RAM. But I'll tell you something, I've actually not seen a difference at all in the use of RAM from a 12, uh, between a 12 and an 8. I have not seen a single difference. The way you play games, especially Fortnite, I'm always on there. Uh, uh, the way you operate multitask and leave many apps open, I've not seen RAM management as a problem at all. So I think if you're looking at RAM and thinking, oh, this is only 8 gigs, don't let that worry you. That's fine. Now, the other thing, uh, so this is kind of, a, of, a, of a, um, a drawback actually on the new Note. So you know how uh, with the Note 10 Plus and with the S20 Ultra, you can charge up to uh, 40, you can use a 45 watt charge uh, charger to charge these. It comes with a 25 watt charge in the box, which, which this also does. But with this, you are able to do 45. But if you're looking to, that is, a, you're thinking that's a problem and you think, okay, the new phones have come out, uh, maybe I'll go for them because of that. They are also now down to uh, 25. And to be honest, I've looked at many, many reviews. Uh, I've even looked at comparisons of these battery charging. There is hardly a difference between 45 watt charging and 25 uh, watt charging. What you see is that at the start, 45 seems to be ahead, but it slows down drastically near the end such that the 25 watt uh, catches up. Um, I mean, you can, you can search on YouTube, you will see that every single review will tell you the same thing. Okay. So we talked about the display. This is 6.3. If you are a, a person that likes these small phones with a small display, in fact, I wouldn't call it small, but if you, if you prefer this kind of phone, please um, don't, don't, uh, don't be discouraged. The only problem with a particular note, this particular note, is that it's a um, 1080p um, screen instead of 1440, which is on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So that's the, something to consider. Now, I have been using the high-end uh, Samsung phones for a while, and I can, I can easily tell that, is, that this is lower quality to, to the higher-end phones. So if that's going to bother you, you need to think about, okay, I, I'm not going to get the smaller Note. Maybe I could get the Note 10, or maybe I could actually upgrade, uh, because the prices are so low for the Note this time, I could go and get a Note 20 Ultra. Okay, fine. So... Uh, we talked about battery, certainly not loving it here. 3,500 is not enough in any phone. I don't care how much uh, management it does in terms of uh, RAM, uh, display and all that. 3,500 is small. I think, I'm going to guess now, I think this was uh, 4,500 on the S20 Ultra. More than a day, you know. Charges quickly, I think an hour and nine minutes or something. It's, it's definitely less than an hour and 20 minutes to charge this. It's more than, uh, I think it's take. Th that's another surprising thing. For this one, it's taking me an hour and a half to charge it. Uh, and they charge it 25 watts with the chargers that come out of the box. This is taking an hour and a half. This is taking an hour, nine minutes or something like that from zero. So I, I, I still don't get it. But um, 
in terms of battery, definitely the Note 10 regular is not a go-to phone for that. Um, the other thing here is the um, optical zoom. So when I use the, uh, and I didn't know this, but uh, when you use the Note 10, I think, I'm pretty sure this is just only a two times, yeah, two times optical zoom. Now, for me, that's not, that's not enough at all. Um, I think the new Note is up to five, five times optical zoom. So that is, that, that is much better because you're seeing things clearer before they're distorted by the digital zoom. So up to five times is not bad. I know that too. I think iPhones, you know, if, if it's two on the iPhone, that's even good because I don't think they do anything over three times optical zoom. Uh, they might do in the newer models, but one of the things I didn't like about them is that the optical zoom was always low. Um, so if that's something that you would like on this particular phone and you're considering the small note, just know that uh, in terms of that optical zoom is that way. The other thing that's changed with the new notes is that they've got the laser autofocus. So you know how we, this one always struggled to, I don't know if that's the case because they've received updates now, always struggled to kind of autofocus. Um, I think that's not bad actually. That's not bad. So uh, there's been updates, but the, that that's gonna that's not gonna be a problem hopefully with the new updates because we now have laser and the, you know the back of the of the new um uh, note 20 ultra just here you will see that it's got a a different setup it's got a, a um this optical this laser autofocus uh gear there okay s pen now, I have never, if you didn't tell me that the S Pen latency was around 42 milliseconds, I would have never, you know, seen a problem. But apparently, this has been improved now in the new notes to something like 9 milliseconds, which means as soon as you put your pen down, whatever you're moving, as, as soon as you make movement, it shows on the screen. But uh, I didn't find any problems with, uh, with, the old, with the old S Pen. Mind you, I've got a screen protector here, but I've never thought that there was latency he uh, problems here. Um, but yeah, so that's that, they, there's been improvement here. So if that's your thing and you like drawing on this and you like precision, then you probably want to upgrade for that one reason. Um, now, this didn't have 8K video, didn't have the 108 megapixel camera. Uh, which which the S20 Ultra has. Um, now, we all know that the zoom, 100% um, zoom has been has been discontinued on the new Ultra. It goes up to 50. Um, but there was hardly any function of the 100 here. Um, I, I'll take some samples and I'll put it in the video. But what you see is that it wasn't ever useful. I think the most useful um, uh, zoom I could use was about 30 times. So going up to 50 is reasonable. If you have the S20 Ultra, you can't just uh, upgrade for the simple reason that it's been brought down to 50. I mean, you can always use it up to 50. Uh, so I would keep, if I had an S20 Ultra, I would keep that uh, rather than get the Note. But there are two types of people in the world. There are people who use a Galaxy Note and there are people who don't. Those are the two types of people you're ever going to get, right? Um, I'm one of those that will always use a Note. Um, it's, it's what I've used for years. Sometimes I get these while I wait for a Note. Uh, sometimes if there's a new feature here that I want to try out before it comes out on the Note, I'll do that as well. But my go-to phone is always going to be the Note and it's always, got, it's always been, except for this time, uh, on the Note 10, it's always been the bigger, the bigger Note. Um, as I said, I do get, you know, I do get the other type, the S line, uh, but for reasons of review or just comparing or just knowing what's coming next on the Note, sometimes that's what I do. 
But um, in terms of the, the Zoom, in terms of the new line of notes, you're going to get 8K and you're going to get 108 uh, megapixel camera as well. But the Zoom, uh, that was 100, goes, now goes up to 50. So that's the update there. Now, the other thing is there are people that like to use DeX a lot. Uh, with the new notes, you're going to be able to do that wirelessly. Uh, I don't know if this is a hardware thing or whether it could also, you know, later in the year come to these older notes. But currently it's kind of been sold as the, oh, it's only on the on the newer models. So if that's your thing and you like to, to do it wirelessly, yeah, that's another reason to, to upgrade as well. Um, so there's quite a, a lot of uh, a mixed mixed feedback here. What I would say is, if you already had the Ultra and you do not care for the S Pen, if you never pull the S Pen um, at least once in a day to use it, uh, you probably don't need it. I would say if you already have, have the S20 or, not, or, or S20 Ultra, just keep, just keep with it uh, and wait for the, for the other phones. If you've got a Note 10 Plus, um, there's hardly any need to, to upgrade either. Uh, that you're not going to miss anything much. But if you've got a Note 10 uh, regular, like this one, all the issues I talked about in terms of um, uh, the display, in terms of the battery, uh, just the uh, optical zoom not, not being that much, um, lack of 8K and, um, you know, bigger spec cameras and things like that, you may want to, to upgrade. But this has been a very good device, daily driver for me to, to, to use. Lots of, um, I've, I've been able to do everything I normally would do on a phone, but I do notice the screen uh, is, is a uh, less display. And in fact, if you love displays, the new notes, I think the, the brightness is cranked up to something like 1,500 uh, nits instead of uh, 1,300 on the ultra i believe so the brightness is is 20 percent uh, more bright actually and for someone like me i would notice such such a difference so those are some of the things you might want to consider um let me know i know there's other things they, they're minor things there are lots of things that are uh, um these new phones have that we haven't talked about i mean the the sharing with people nearby where you just flick a file and it goes it's sort of like airdrop on on iphone we haven't talked about uh, many other things but i think we've covered the key things of why you what you might want to consider before you you buy your phone but if you were if you were to do it the way i do trade in don't ever lose your old phones. Trade in. Samsung are doing a good deal. As I said, £400 for the, for the Note 10. Um, used, you know. Uh, it's still got plastics and things on it because I didn't remove it. But it's a used it's a used unit. Um, and then they take 400 off the price. And I'm only paying 700 while the rest of the world pays 1179 So um, use those kind of, um, kinds of offers and initiatives. Let me know what you think. Um, have a good day. I'll be doing my usual uh, Galaxy Watch review once I get the unit. I've ordered that as well. So we'll, we'll stay tuned and uh, you'll see that when it comes up. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.